the cerebrate posturing usually tells us that there's something going on significantly in the patient's deep brain tissue, such as the midbrain, the pons, the diencephalon. And this injury could have occurred due to a stroke, traumatic brain injury, a brain abscess, a tumor, anything that significantly takes up space in the patient's head and then causes some impaired neurologic function. And the cerebrate posturing, unfortunately, many times is irreversible. So we need to be able to assess the patient so that we catch this posturing before it happens and detect any neurological changes before. And so the cerebrate posturing means that the patient's legs are usually extended with their toes pointed down and then their arms will be at their sides with, with the arms extended and the wrist flexed down towards the patient's um, hips. Uh, and many times also the patient's head will be flexed back or hyperextended back in this case. And this posturing usually means that there's um, pretty uh, much impending brain death occurring. This is an important part of the Glasgow Coma Scale, so please also check out my other video about that important assessment skill, and also the other video about decorticate posturing, which is similar but different. Thanks for watching.